Who is ready to get their Grammys on? I'm Hyla in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. And the 55th Grammy Awards is this Sunday. Joining me in studio is Yahoo's senior music editor, Billy Johnson Jr., to break down the biggest categories. What's going on, man? Thanks hey, for man. coming in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, let's kick things off with record of the year. Yes. We got the Black Keys, Kelly Clarkson, Fun, Gautier, Frank Ocean, and Taylor Swift. This is a tough category. It is. It is. How do you it's look tough. at this and say, eh, there's no clear winner? Well, you know, there? it's tough. I mean, all those are big songs. They're all great, great songs. But I just feel like Gautier, you can't deny that song. Right. I mean, just uh, independent artist just kind of came out of nowhere. It's a song that everybody knows, even if you don't know anything about him or who it is. It's so infectious. It's this crazy story. And it kind of you know? went yeah. in two waves. I feel like the <laughs> underground did. music scene was right. aware of it coming out of Australia early. Right. And then pop music grabbed a hold of it. And then Absolutely. it just took it to another level. Totally. And so, like, considering all the downloads and the sales, it just has done phenomenally well, and I think it's undeniable. So that's what I'm putting my money on. That's your pick. <laughs> okay, let's move on to Song of the Year. Ed Sheeran, Miguel, Carly Rae mm -hmm. Jepsen, Kelly Clarkson, and Fun. This is a weird this category for me. Okay, for me, too, in a lot of ways, it's because Fun, they have so many nominations across the board, and they've had an incredible year, but I'm feeling like uh, Kelly Clarkson is going to really? take it. It's stronger. It's an anthem. People love Kelly, and I think it's that, you know, that big of a song. But, wow, so you know, no upset we'll so far. I don't in, think so. In, in, in no, I don't, I don't think so. I'm not feeling that. No. Okay, and then finally, we have Best New Artist. This right. is always my favorite <laughs> category, right? You got the Al Alabama Shakes, Fun, again, Hunter Hayes, the Lumineers, and Frank Ocean. I think the Grammys, oftentimes, they love to pick someone a little controversial with Frank oh, yeah, Ocean totally. coming out this year. Right. Plus the fact that it's just a great record. Totally. I think puts him in the lead, but the Lumineers, man. Right. They were a I know. Force yeah, the, in Lumi 2012. The, the Lumineers, Alabama Shakes, and uh, Hunter Hayes could potentially be an upset, but. I think Frank Ocean is going to get it because even though he got so much um, attention this year, he's still underground. Like, people really don't know the name of the songs except for people who are, like, really into music. Right. And so I still think there's an opportunity for them, and it's still a good look for the Grammys. It isn't like when Bieber was up uh, for Best New Artist and he didn't get it, even though he was so popular. I think there's still a lot of cred on Frank Ocean's side, and I think that's going to help him. And Bieber and Scooter Braun, a little <laughs> <Right>. crabby that <laughs> they didn't get any love, but they right. got Carly Rae in the mix. All right, yeah, totally. Billy, thank you so much. Oh, Oh, man, thank for you. hanging out. I know Absolutely. it's going to be a crazy weekend for yes, you. Yes, yes. No right, sleep, sure. but it's okay. All right, so for the latest on the Grammys, which air Sunday night, make sure you hang out here. We have a live pre-show. We definitely want you to check out Sunday night. And for the biggest stories breaking right now, just stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.